Well, the holidays look a little bit different for everyone. And one way you can celebrate is by throwing a Friendsgiving party. It is a growing trend, especially with millennials. Or maybe you've moved to a different town and you don't have a lot of family there. There's lots of ways to do this. Amanda Pa is a food writer and founder of Heartbeat Kitchen, and she's here to tell us all about it today. This just seems like growing tradition. I feel like people have been doing this for a long time, right? You have your friends over, yes. you know, especially if you live in a, in a community where you don't have a lot of family, right? Right. And it's nice, you know, just to partake with the people that you're really grateful for, which yes. can be friends and family. Absolutely. And, I mean, two Thanksgivings is better than one, it right? It is. <laughs> and this year you're actually encouraging some sort of charitable component to this. Yes. Though. So um, with Honeysuckle White, they do turkeys. You can find them in cubs around here. Um, but you can sign up for a Friendsgiving at honeysucklewhite.com backslash friendsgiving and we encourage you to have your friends donate so that we can help no kid hungry which you know one in seven kids in the united states lives with some sort of hunger yeah. which is really sad so it's like you can celebrate but also be doing good for I some for some kids all so, right you're helping us make a moist turkey a moist turkey that's a little different than your traditional so okay. We're gonna do a dry rub, which helps keep um, all of the juices in. And I'm gonna teach you how to take the temperature of your turkey properly. Now, the one thing too for Friendsgiving, um, Honeysuckle White does a bone-in turkey breast, which is this. Okay. And as you can see, it still is a lot of meat. Yes. So a Friendsgiving is typically a few less people, right? Okay. So easier to manage, right? Um, because it's a little less small. So it's a little smaller. So what you wanna do is make sure you kind of get the skin up. And that's where we're gonna put um, um, our spice rub, which is like paprika and cumin and some oregano and garlic and lemon. And you're gonna get in there and rub all of that so that the breast is actually getting um, the seasoning. Because and now you call this a dry rub, but it actually looks wet to me, is that? It does, okay. I mean, because it has lemon juice and okay. some olive oil. But which makes it easier to spread Which then, makes right? it easier to spread, yeah. There you go. And so you're really just making sure. So outside sure, and inside. Outside and inside. Okay. And then you're gonna bake it, um, roast it, and okay. it's gonna take less time Time. these are about six to seven pounds okay. and when the temperature so I love using this little thermo pen and what you want to do is you're gonna take it into the thickest part of the breast and go all the way into the middle and when it's about 150 to 155 degrees you want to take it out and then let it rest because that temperature is gonna keep, keep rising up. okay and so a lot of people wait to take it out until it's 165 and then you've got a dry. dry turkey okay. yes all right so here's what this looks like so you can it's see really it's pretty. got a really nice skin on it um, it's I'm more excited about this the, the acoustic on there. Yes, is, <laughs> yes. And so what this I like beautiful. to tell people is, you know, you can decorate real easily with just fresh fruits and herbs and it looks amazing, it right? Is, it's gorgeous. You know, that's all you need. And I like this idea. You said assign people something. Assign people. So friends giving people are like, what can I bring? What can I bring? Yeah. And instead of being very vague, just like, bring something. Bring a Be bottle like, of wine. I need yeah. a salad. I need a roasted vegetable. Bring some bread. Or, you know, if you have someone who's like, I don't like to cook. Tell them to pick up a cheesecake and yeah. you, you know decorate it. I decorated this with homemade whipped cream and pomegranate seeds, and it's like it's done. So, you know, it's a fun way to get together, and everybody can really feel a part of it. All right, and is the do you is this hard to make this rub? No, by the way, no. I mean it's four ingredients, you know, and the recipe you guys have it, and I created it for um, HeartbeatKitchen.com and Honeysuckle White, so they can find it. And then the citrus mojo sauce too is like a creamy type jalapeno oh, infused. Oh, I love that. So it's different than gravy. Yes. And that's also on your on your website. Well, that's so. fantastic. Yes. And we can follow you if we want all that yes. information as well. And I just want to say thank you for all the work you do for neonatal kitties in our community <laughs> yes, too. Yes, so. I, I love the kittens. Yes. Go Bitty Kitty Brigade. Bitty Kitty Brigade. Thank <laughs> yes. you so very yes. much. Yes. We have the turkey recipe and a link to sign up to host a Friendsgiving uh, for No Kid Hungry on carol11.com.